Clone War had to be the greatest project of all time. Of course, I probably say that about all of, all the projects that I work on, but uh, this is really waterfront. It's waterfront America. It's it's the door to Boston, and and and, and if you can imagine that the, the this pier went all the way back to the old custom the, the customs house tower, which would be uh, directly behind me. Maybe you can even see it. Uh, that and the uh, land develop land on both sides was essentially all Boston Harbor. That we uh, landfill had reduced the length of Long Long War uh, by. 60%, something like that, a tremendous, so it's not, ain't nearly as long as it used to be. But what's also cool is that the first, the first war was really a rather uh, tiny pier, and that was built in 1680. Uh, 1720, another addition was made uh, to that pier, and I think then it became Long War. The vision for Boston's waterfront, you know, of the 28 miles in the master plan, I suspect we still have at least 20 to go. So the vision has got to be uh, at least 28 miles of public access to the water's edge for all of Boston's waterfront. And the other, I suppose, is things will change. Uh, ideally, uh, I'd love to see Long Wharf stay with it, the way it is, <laughs> but you never know <laughs> in this day and age. Uh, we did have to fight a lobby that thought this should be a park. I guess you could argue that Sasaki are paving people. Copley Square was all paving, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of paving at Christian Sign. And this is all paving. There's no landscape at all. But there was a group that thought we should have uh, trees. And uh, here's where we got help from Walter Whitehill, who wrote that great book, Topographic History of Boston. And he said there never were trees on Long Wharf. There never should be trees on Long Wharf. And please don't plant trees on Long Wharf. And if you do, as long as I'm alive, I'll cut them down. <laughs> But I see a lot more, um, uh, maybe uh, ideally, water taxi. Uh, I, I'd love to see high-speed access to the North Shore. We already have uh, access to the South Shore. Uh, use the w I'd love to see the waterfront become more working uh, w uh, with all the privatization, which caused the no access, and in industry, which caused no access to the waterfront. Now we're opening it up. And what you'd love to do is make sure that uh, the voting is, is equal equally as, as, as important to the transportation infrastructure as the highways behind it. I think one Im um, important feature, uh, this is definitely a, a less is more design. Uh, we talked about no landscape uh, and, and uh, minimum furniture. Everything you see is based upon historical precedent. Uh, the one thing, uh, well, except for the shade structure, but that became a utilitarian uh, necessary, uh, is the flagpole. Uh, people really felt that there ought to be some way of, of a big fountain was proposed, some way of celebrating the front door of the city of Boston. And uh, th people said, no, a fountain out here is not going to work. It's kind of silly. <laughs> Working waterfront, kind of an old pier. Uh, forget it. And so the 100 foot flag was, uh, came out of nowhere. It's wonderful as you can see that from the old state house. You can see it from the customs house. It really says waterfront. It's basically uh, because of the marine flags, which we hope they fly more often than they do, uh, is really symbolic of, of, of the, re rejuven or the rediscovery of Boston's waterfront.